all right guys so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to run the facebook ads on your smartphone so basically if you are interested in learning how to run facebook ads then i want to show you guys how easy and how simple it is to run facebook ads using your smartphone device okay so with that all said i really believe you guys already have an understanding of what the facebook advertisement literally means right this is um where you get to pay facebook to help you share your content with a wider audience on their platform okay so if you are struggling to get people maybe you are struggling to get customers or you're struggling to boost a particular page on Facebook you can now implore Facebook advertisement where Facebook basically would help you channel your content to the kind of person you want them to channel it to and you are going to be giving um, having access to reach a wider audience on the Facebook platform so it is very very easy and very very simple to run Facebook ads on the smartphone so the first thing we have to do right now for us to be able to to run our Facebook ads on our smartphone successfully is that we make use of Facebook Meta Ads application. So for you to get the Facebook Ads Meta application, all you have to do is to go over to your Play Store. And if you're making use of an iPhone, basically you can still do this, okay? You can still carry up this method. So what I'm going to do right now is here I am on my Google Play Store. I'm just going to search for the Meta Ads, okay? Which is M-E-T-E-A-D-S, spelled as M-E-T-E Meta then ads for ads so i'm going to click on the search button and you're going to be seeing that will be the first thing that would appear on your device so what you have to do right now is you want to install for those of you who don't have it you need to install it because without this we will not be able to run facebook ads on our smartphone so the meta ads basically is facebook giving everyone who wants to run the facebook ads on their smartphone an opportunity for them to do this even without a laptop or even without a desktop device so with your smartphone facebook is telling you that you can literally run the facebook ads using your smartphone so you want to make sure you install the meta ads on your phone and once you've been able to do that the next thing you want to do is you want to you can see i have my hair so you can see here is mine okay so i'm just going to open mine and show you guys what you need to start doing for you to be able to run your facebook ads using your smartphone so the first thing you have to do right now is once you are here on the interface what you have to do is number one is you need to make sure that you have the name of the facebook page showing here on your meta ads okay so you can see here is my facebook profile as na charles okay so for those of you who basically have so many profiles on your facebook um facebook account what you have to do is you want to click on the drop down menu and basically you want to choose the account that you want to run the facebook ads on so for me i only have just one that is why it is showing just one for those of you who have two who have three you would find them here you're going to be having access to all of the facebook accounts you have so you want to pick the one that you want to use so for me i'm just going to click on the my own which is the only one i have and that is why you're seeing something like this so if you've been able to add up the profile that you want to use in running the facebook ads the next thing you want to do right now is you want to click on the create button menu so you can create click on the create menu and once you click on the create button and the next thing you have to do right now is we need to pick the page that we want to run the facebook ads on okay so let me just um you know explain this to you um facebook basically would run ads for you not on your profile but on your facebook page so you need to have a page for you to be able to what run a facebook advertisement so i'm just going to select the page that i want to work with so i'm just going to click on this page here because this is the page i want to use in running my facebook ads and the next thing i want to do right now is i want to pick in the marketing objective what what is the reason why am i telling facebook to help me share my content okay with their audience is it because i want to boost a particular post or maybe i want to make my video go viral or should i or maybe should, um in case i have a website that i want to drive traffic to you have so many marketing objectives so you want to make sure you pick the best one that suits your business so for those of you who are influencers miss basically you might be needing facebook to help you promote your videos okay to a wider uh, audience so people can get to see you people can get to know 
know you. So for that, you would want to go with the video views. Or for those of you who create content, maybe you create um you know motivational content and you want people to see your post, you can also go with the post engagement. So you want to make sure you find the one that suits your business. But for me, I want to use this Facebook ads to basically get new customers who are willing to buy my product. Okay, who are willing to buy my product? So for me, I'm going to click on messages. Okay, I'm going to click on messages. So please make sure you choose the marketing objective that really suits your business. So I'm going to click on messages. And once I click on that, the next thing I have to right now is I'm going to start setting up my ad so that Facebook will get to see that truly this person wants to run an ad and they get to tell me some other things I need to do and I do them correctly and my ads will be live on the Facebook platform. So the first thing is after you've been able to choose your marketing objective, you want to make sure you choose an image and basically the image you actually choose is known as your ads image. And what do, uh, okay, or should I say, what does an ad image looks like? Let me, let me go back to my Facebook account and show you what an ad image which looks like so let me just check if i can see ads okay here is an ad but basically this is a video so i'm not going to work on that i'm just going to check around and see okay good so here is another ad um, uh, um, this is an ad basically that is being um you know sponsored by facebook and by somebody here and you can see the picture or the image showing basically is what we call the ad image okay that's what we call the ad image so if you have an ad image ready that is good for you but for those of you who don't have you can basically go on canva it is very very simple to do you can go on canva and design your own ad image you can literally do this within five to seven seconds you would have your ad image created then the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the ad image you are you're selecting is the one you want to use for your facebook ad so for me i want to use this one i basically designed this on canva for those of you who are so good on canva you realize that these are canva templates that i make use of right so this is so so easy and very very simple to do so i'm just going to click on the next button and for you to be able to have access to the next button all you have to do is you want to look down my screen okay let me take this up a little bit you want to look down my screen and you can see the next button below so click on the next button below and here is where you're going to be adding details to your facebook ads right so now is where do you want people to get to message you remember i chose the messaging as my marketing objective so i want people to message me and ask me questions about my business okay so now facebook is asking okay once we start putting out your ads where do you want people to message you do you want people to message you on the messenger or you want to use instagram okay where you can message people that will be sending to you and get them converted right so for me i'm going to go with messenger and it's something i want to see for those of you who basically have your face your whatsapp account okay if you have a whatsapp business account linked with your facebook page you're going to be having access to also get people to message you on whatsapp and so many nigerians use this a lot they use this in getting people to message them Sorry for that. They use this to basically get people to message them on WhatsApp. So for me, I don't like that because it's so, so bulky and I really, really respect my privacy. So I'm just going to leave that as messenger. For you, it can be it can be WhatsApp, all right? It can be WhatsApp for you. But for me, it's just going to be on messenger, right? So I'm just going to leave that on messenger. And the next thing I want to do right now is I want to pick my headline. And what do I mean by an headline? Or what what is an headline, basically? Now, let me go back to the advertisement on Facebook and show you what an headline is or what a headline is so here is it here so here is a headline okay the thing that you get to see you can see where it says i had me for sponsored adverts that is this guy's headline so you want to make sure you add in your headline so i'm just going to leave my own chat with us because i want people to message me right and which is basically a form of chatting so mine is that on default and the next thing you want to do is you want to add in your primary test and what is a primary test if you ask me now let me go back to a facebook ads and show you what a primary test is so if you are here on facebook and you basically see ads the kind of text you see people tell you for instance this guy is seeing things like i am me for sponsored adverts reach up to fit 5000 plus audience daily with sponsored adverts connect with more customers and prospects so you can see here is this guy's 
what here is uh, is primary text. This is what we call primary text. So for you, it can be anything. You can tell people how you left your village with two naira and you came to the coast with five naira and you made 10.5 million naira in two days. It all depends on whatever thing you want to tell your prospect or you want to tell your audience. So you can you basically now understand what a primary text is, right? So I'm just going to let's say let me make use of this guys. Well, let me just copy and paste. Okay. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to come over to my primary text and I'm going to paste that in there. So you can see here is what a primary text is then the next thing you want to do is you want to pick in the call to action okay what kind of action do you want people to see and now what is a call to action if you ask me still the same simple thing i'm going to go back to the facebook um ads and show you what a call to action is now so here is what a call to action is you can see where it shows the book now you can see the book now blue icon that is what the call to action is so for you it can be anything precisely so you can um basically choose shop now now, book now learn more sign up apply now get offer get quotes send message for me i'm going to click on what um let's say learn more okay i'm going to click on learn more so once they click on the learn more button they'll be redirected to start chatting with me on messenger all right so you want to make sure you pick in the what the call to action that suits whatever thing that you are doing on facebook advertisement so the next thing is um this special ad category i really really advise you don't actually check mark this because you really don't have um you know you don't want to do anything that will disturb your ads right so i leave this off always so the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to go and preview what my art is going to look like so you can see that my art is going to look like this so once i set this out it's going to basically be like this so people can basically see the art and this is actually what it's going to look like so if you're really really happy with what you're seeing you can proceed but if you are not it's just going to take you a few seconds for you to go back and change whatever thing you want to change guys so just come down and the next thing you want to do is go over to the next section which is where we are going to be telling Facebook that these are the kind of people we want to um, we want them to see our ads the kind of people you want Facebook to show your ads to so click on the next button and once you click on the next button the next thing you want to do is you want to click on create new audience let me show you where I clicked on so this is basically where I clicked on let me discard that I clicked on here where it says create new audience you can see right so click on the create new audience and you would have access to start what fixing things that you need to fix so the first thing you want to do right now is you want to make sure you give your audience a name so let's say i'm promoting a course okay let's say i'm promoting an affiliate marketing course so i can just list this audience as affiliate marketing course list okay it can be anything entirely just for you to be able to differentiate your um your audiences from other ones that you'll be doing right so the next thing you want to do is you want to pick in your location so for me i'm a nigerian and basically i want to target nigerian so it can be anything entirely but for you if you're not a nigerian and maybe you want to target your country let's say you are from south africa and you want to target people from south africa all you have to do right now is to click on the search location and search for your country so i'm just going to search for south africa south africa very good and i'm going to wait for it you can see south africa is showing so i can click on south africa and it's going to get added to my location but you can see that is actually how you get to add the location that you want to target so me i want to target only nigerians so i'm just going to remove south africa so click on south africa i'm going to delete that because i don't want south african to be seeing my facebook ad so if i'm okay with the location i'm going to click on the back menu and the next thing i want to do right now is where you want to exclude okay what kind of location do you want to exclude in nigeria so maybe you want people to see your ads only in abuja you don't want people from any other states to see your ads you can come here and you can change that okay you can change that so let's say you want to restrict people from lagos from seeing your ads you can just click here and search for lagos okay and you can see lagos nigeria you can basically remove people from lagos nigeria from seeing your ads or maybe you want people from zim um apakaliki or enugu to stop seeing your ads you can come here and search for enugu 
and you can see you can remove people from any goal to stop seeing your art so you can keep on doing these things until you are satisfied with it right so i'm going to leave that because i want everyone in nigeria to see my arts okay it all depends on you then the next thing you want to do right now is you move over to each section so now you have to be very, very practical whatever thing that you are doing with the facebook art is it that certain age is restricted or you have some certain kind of people you want to um, you want them to see your facebook ads so for me i'm basically going to be promoting a course right so i want people from the age of 18 okay because i believe they are adults to 65 plus because they have purchasing power right those are the kind of age people i want facebook to show my ads to so for you it can be anything let's say you are targeting people from their 50s okay you want to make sure you move this until you get to 50 and you can see so facebook is going to be showing your ads to from people that are age of 50 and above okay 50 and above so i'm going to leave mine on 18 very good so the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to select the gender what gender am i targeting for those of you girls who or women who basically sell things like women wears you don't want to reach out to men right you don't want a man to be seeing your art you can basically choose the women and for those of you guys who do well with maybe selling male stuff you don't want women to see whatever thing you're selling maybe milk um, um, man shoes and all of that you can do well to choose your gender for me i'm going to leave mine as old because i want everybody man woman everyone to be seeing my art right so that is that on that then the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to make sure that i'm just going to um add demographics and all of that so we can basically just play around um you can actually just play around and you can see that you can add whatever um location you want to actually reach out to maybe you want people from lagos to see your art maybe people from face um sorry from um Bayesa to see your art it's still the same thing with the first one we did but the first one is that we are restricting but this one we are adding right we are adding certain people to see our advertisement so i can just come here and see i want people from emo which is my state i want people from emo let's see emo nigeria let's start for that Okay, good. Emo Nigeria. Very good. So you can see Emo Nigeria. You can actually, I can pick anybody that I want to um, basically see my art. So that is that on that. And you can actually still add a lot. Places like Lokoja. You want Lokoja to see your arts. You can do that. You want people, places like... Um, um on do you can really really do that so it's just the opposite of the first one that we did the first one was that we were removing but this one is that we are adding people right so that is that on that and exactly once you are done with setting up everything you need to set the next thing you want to do right now is to click on the check mark button above you can see the check mark button above here click on check mark button above and successfully would get over to the next step so you can see here is that we've been successfully um, been able to tell facebook that these are the kind of audiences we want our ads to be shown to so it's going to show here it's going to show here so if you're not happy with it you can go back and make some changes so the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to click on the next button which is where we are going to be adding how much money we want to spend every single day on our facebook ads okay so literally you can spend for as low as 500 nera 700 1000 nera 15 3000 it all depends on your marketing budget so for me i'm just going to go with 10000 nera every single day so um one to three which is 10000 and i'm going to be running this ad for five days which is 50000 nera and which is not so bad okay when it comes to running facebook ads but remember please don't get oppressed okay it all depends on how much money you want to put you can do 500 to, i have run ads on facebook for 2000 naira for three days yeah so it all depends it all depends on how much money you want to invest okay so don't feel you have to pay 10,000 naira and, uh, um, and, and, and above no you can do lesser you can do higher my friends who are into the social media marketing business they do for clients and they spend at least like 50k every single day on facebook ads that's to show you how people have money when it comes to running facebook ads why because they know that the return on investment is really really good so please make sure you choose the one that is convenient for you all right convenient for you don't do way more higher than yourself right so that's that on that then the next thing i'm going to do right now is Please make sure you basically ch um, check mark this thing that says run ads continuously. Make sure you're off it, okay? Make sure you turn it off because even if you don't turn it off, Facebook will be running your ads continuously and your money will be choking. So, in case I did not know, my ads is running every day for 10,000 naira and the ad is going to be running for like 30 days. I wouldn't know. That is almost 300k. 
on ads, which is really, really bad, right? So you want to make sure you turn that off and you want to choose how many days you want the ads to run out for. So you can see that when I off the run ad continuously, there was this small drop down menu that says how many days do I want to run the Facebook ads for? So you can see here is it here, how many days I want to run the Facebook ads for. So I'm going to leave that for three days. I want to run it for just three days. So I'm going to leave that, go to three, four, and um, let's say three. Okay, so the ad is going to be running for three good days. Okay, for three good days, the ad is going to be running. So you want to make sure you choose how many days you want your ads to be running. For some people, they like a day ad. You know, just do quick, quick. They make money and they go away. They come back the next day, run quick, quick. They do ads, they make money, they go away. So for you, you want to make sure you pick how many days you want to run your ads for. So that is that on that. So you can see that my ad is going to be starting now. So in case I don't want the ad to start today, I can basically check um, off this, okay, and click on start later so for start later i'm just going to add in the details okay so i want my ads to start from today's nine i want to start from 10 july 10 okay and it's going to end um this is um july 10 is going to it's going to end july it's going to end july 13 which is three days right so july 13 good and you can see i'm just going to choose the timer so maybe i want the ads to run from 12 o'clock in the afternoon um 12 o'clock in the afternoon so i'm just going to choose pm good to um 12 o'clock in the afternoon to 12 o'clock in the afternoon to as well so that is that on that guys so make sure you just pick how many days you want your ads to run from and choose when you want to run your ads maybe you want to run it instantly you can start with the start now you can see where it says start now okay but maybe you want to run it the next day you can do the start later and choose the day you want the ads to start running right so that is that on that and once you are done with everything that you want to do okay just click on the check mark button that says color blue that shows blue icon click on it and you would actually have access that facebook would preview your ad so i'm just going to click on um done and let's wait for this and let's see what happens next so um quickly okay very very good so you can see that my ad is already in order so facebook basically would review my ad okay they would review my ad and if there's anything wrong with the ad they would tell me to go and fix it maybe i need to add in some things i did not add in i want to do that and my ads will be going live guys so this is actually how you run the facebook ads on your what on your smartphone if you want to learn how to add money to your facebook ads account maybe you want to add in money i'm going to be making a video after this one teaching you guys how to um add money to your facebook ads account so that you can start running ads every time that you want to okay so this is how our art is going to look like guys so you can see how beautiful and how nice it is so for you if you actually don't like the way everything is right you can go back and you can change whatever thing you want to change so you can see here is a preview of what our art entails so you can see um the art is going to be running from july 10 to july 13 the um, total budget is 30,000 naira. the page is my page name instagram is also the um, special ad category is known my name is messages reply and all of that so if you want to learn how to add money which is add funds to your um to your facebook ads account maybe i should just show you how to do that right so just click on the ads font it's very very simple and very very easy to do so once you click on the ads font what you want to do right now is you want to click in the amount of money you want to add to your facebook ads account so i'm just going to add in um fifty thousand naira very good 50,000 error and the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to change in please make sure you don't use the debit or credit card sometimes it doesn't go through and that is why many people have issues trying to fund their facebook ads account so you want to make sure you go with the naira payment with mastercard so click on that then click on the next button okay once you click on that you're going to be directed to an online site which is very very secure I use this a lot and so many people use this a lot you don't have to be scared okay and which this is where you can actually make your payment so click on continue all right and you'll be directed to add in your card details which is very very secure you add in your card details and every other thing you need to add and successfully guys you'll be able to get money funded into your facebook ads account so let's wait for it to show up and let me show you what you need to do for you to get money into your um, account so I'm just going to wait for this to load up. It's taking time, but it doesn't really take time. I think my server is really, really bad. 
all right so guys please if you actually love this video please don't leave here without smashing the like button and if you are new on my channel please make sure you subscribe okay subscribe so you get to see more videos like this right so um basically this is actually not going up right now because i think my um server is really really bad let me just go back and do that again so click on continue and let's see what happens it's basically taking time um taking time let me just erase all of this and go back to facebook and choose how much money i want to add let me just do that again um add funds let me just do that again so you guys see what i'm doing click on add funds okay and um here on the add funds let's wait for it my server is really really slow so fifty thousand never i don't know how much i want to put 50k and click on naira payments good then click on um, next button and the next thing we have to do right now is to click on continue click on continue all right okay i think my server is really really bad very very bad very good okay you can see now it's actually worked right so the next thing you want to do right now is just put in your card number put in your card order name put in the month on your card and also the day the, 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 the year and like that and successfully guys you'll be able to fund your facebook ads account okay if you actually doubt this process you can check online and see how people are doing it and you realize that this is the same method people use in funding their facebook ads account so thank you so much for watching guys and i believe you've been able to get ideas on how to run facebook ads using your smartphone so it's very very easy and very very simple to do so make sure you watch this video again if you have any issue or you don't understand the particular place clearly rewatch and get on Understanding. And if you have any question you would love to ask me, you can let me know in the comment section below. I'll be so, so, so much happy to respond to your questions. So thank you so much, guys. I remain NHL and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.